In this video series, we'll explore the implementation of our K-12 STEM program, detailing how the program established a strong foundation, managed projects for program development, and created STEM pathways for students, all while aiming to prepare them as future STEM leaders. With our K-12 STEM curriculum review completed, it was now time to start the implementation process. Our STEM program consists of two major models. One model consists of courses and electives for the following disciplines, technology and design, computer science, and robotics engineering. And the other model consists of these disciplines being integrated into core subject interdisciplinary units. The beginning of the year was a time for us to really establish the foundational aspects of the STEM program. And with that, during the rest of the year, we were able to design supports for the program's future development. Without laying a strong foundation, the program can be unsure of who it's trying to serve or how to achieve its aims. Therefore, it was crucial for us to establish the following items. Our first initiative was to finalize our STEM program's philosophy statement, which demonstrates what our program stands for, what principles guide its decisions, and how it approaches its mission. It contains our values, prioritized principles, our collective approach, our target audience, and overall direction. Breaking down the philosophy statement, you can see we value an inclusive, diverse, and responsible community, students' development and application of transferable skills within real-world contexts and problems, collaborative learning and sustained inquiry, and the use of emerging technologies and creative problem-solving approaches to solve transdisciplinary problems that impact the world positively. However, it was also important to officially create a K-12 STEM department to help foster a strong collaborative learning environment, consistent curriculum development, and professional development opportunities, and ultimately elevate the STEM discipline's importance and advocate for their needs within the school. The key was to have the high school officially establish a department. Led by Lance Murgatroyd, our high school deputy principal, the high school was able to establish department and share this change to the school's upcoming planning guide that provides information of the wide range of academic opportunities available at the school. Despite these foundational elements, as a STEM department, it was essential to have a common understanding of a teaching method that is optimal in implementing our philosophy statement and STEM approach. As a result, we connected with Jaditsa Vijalba, a global ed consultant in project-based learning, or PBL, to help design and implement PBL workshops to ensure alignment and shared understanding within our department on the why, what, and how of project-based learning, and how PBL is a great tool for culturally responsive teaching, making sure that PBL is part of the department's identity. Lastly, a small group of teachers, including our curriculum coordinator, Scott Riley, came together to map out our current state of STEM at our school, looking at a scope and sequence to see what our students' STEM journey looks like from kindergarten to 12th grade. Through this process, divisions and teachers from different STEM disciplines gained an understanding of what is currently happening, but also to collectively identify areas of improvement in the STEM scope and sequence, paving the way for future development. We identified that we needed to explore the redesign of coding courses and future STEM integration into existing interdisciplinary units in the middle school, the redesign of robotics engineering and technology and design courses, and possibly new computer science courses to create new pathways in high school, alignment in common standards and identifying power standards for the whole STEM department, exploring the idea of prerequisites and required STEM courses for equitable opportunities, and collecting more data from other schools on what they are doing with their STEM program. This session also helped me to realize that we needed to have more representatives for our next scope and sequence session at the end of the year, as well as improve the criteria for our scope and sequence work to provide a well-established definition of success measures, offer guidance in decision-making, ensure alignment and justification, and enhance clarity in communication efforts in the redesign of the scope and sequence. With these identified areas of improvement, it was now time to create a system for project management and additional data collection. Collection. 